21st Century Skills and How They Change Education, created by Akeem Williams. A former Prime Minister of Australia by the name of Julia Gillard once said, Our future growth relies on competitiveness and innovation, skills and productivity, and these in turn rely on the education of our people. Gillard makes an interesting point. Education is important. It isn't just about knowing the core content, but it also involves the teaching of skills, too. These skills prepare students for the more advanced education and work. Today's essential skills involve teamwork and communication, problem solving, critical thinking, and technological literacy. The inability to work as a team limits growth in many aspects. If you can work as a team, you can share responsibilities, share ideas, and it simply forges a better learning experience while enhancing communication skills. Problem solving skills give people the ability to solve different problems, issues, and situations quickly and effectively. Critical thinking skills give people better judgment in situations while also helping them to make better decisions. Technological literacy is just the ability to adequately use technology. Technology is advancing day by day, and the ability to shift your knowledge towards each aspect of technology is very important. Today's jobs require these essential skills more than ever. Both blue and white collar jobs, although requiring different levels of education, the essential skills they need are consistent. Blue-collar jobs, such as police officers, and white-collar jobs, such as doctors. Both require adequate communication with their colleagues and the people they're trying to help. Doctors need to be able to relay information to their patients. And police officers need to be able to speak with suspects, colleagues, and witnesses. Problem-solving and critical thinking are also used by the two to make effective decisions rather efficiently to find solutions. Lastly, with the advancement in technology, the technology use in both fields of work are growing. So the ability to use this technology is very important. They can't be left behind as technology moves ahead of them. Unfortunately, there are skills that many students lack in the 21st century. An article on Washington Post by Daniel Willingham talks about how today's students lack the ability to pay attention, properly handle boredom, and remain patient. He claims this is because they're used to being on a state of entertainment. And when that entertainment is taken away, then they don't push through. Of course, students aren't born with these skills, but need to be taught them. One of the most prime skills are technological literacy, and this paves way into online education and blended classes. These newer types of classes have mixed views due to the advantages and disadvantages. There are many advantages with online learning. Online classes provide self-centered learning, improvement in writing skills, it creates students that are more active in their education, it creates more responsible students, also it could bend to different schedules, since it's more flexible. Online classes aren't for everyone. It's more demanding. It requires more responsibility and time management skills. Also, it's less competitive. Whether consciously or subconsciously, in school, students compete against each other. Now, in online classes, that competition is slightly diminished. And this is very important in the outside world, where competition is everything. Also, there's limited human interaction with online classrooms. School has always been the hub for students. Now, when that hub isn't there, there isn't much way to talk to other students. With the growth of technology, studies have been implemented that show the benefits of technology in education. Studies show increased test scores, better self-esteem, and more motivation. Main problem with technology is that it's making students lazy. Through laziness, the act of plagiarism becomes much more common because it's so easy to do it. 
students can easily take information offline and claim it's their own. This is called copyright infringement, and it is punishable by law. Through the use of technology, skills such as leadership, technological literacy, problem solving, creativity, and critical thinking are being taught to children at younger ages. This in turn is creating a society where more and more children are ready for the child's responsibility and effort the world of adulthood brings. Here are my works cited. And again, thank you for watching.